In this video, I'll we'll show you how I designed and built my garden tiki bar during the 2021 lockdown. The project was inspired in, uh, by a summer house build which took place during the spring of 2019. It first of all added a piece of garden architecture in an otherwise neglected part of the garden and has proven to be a significant amenity both summer and winter, a place to relax and listen to music and watch TV and so on. The tiki bar project uh, started as an additional requirement for extra storage space and it was going to be built in an unused part of the garden. I originally considered uh, building a TARDIS as a bit of fun, uh, but I looked at the roof structure and uh, quickly realised that there could be some difficulties in how the water would uh, drain. So I started to think about uh, something with a pitch roof. And being in the depths of the 2021 lockdown, with no pubs or bars open, I decided to build my own garden bar with a 24-7 licence and an immunity against future lockdowns. The first part of the project was to take a look at the key features of a tiki bar on the materials and how it uh, is traditionally built and what differentiates it from just simply being a garden shed. So I prepared my uh, drawings on my trusty A2 drawing board and once I had a set of drawings I then started to dig the foundations out. Uh, this is a couple of tons of soil typically and it was first of all lined with about a ton of scalpings, then a layer of sand uh, followed and then followed by a damp proof uh, membrane and that was then backfilled with about four inches of concrete in the centre section and about six inches around the edges. I finished the base off with a single course of uh, decorative bricks. I opted for some fairly large oak timbers for the front elevation. These were first of all cut to size and notched for assembly into forming a framework and then trial fitted. Despite uh, a fairly set of accurate drawings, there's no substitute really for trialling a structure in its final position. And once I'd done that, I quickly realised it was initially too high and a bit overbearing really for the size of garden. So I lowered it by about three inches. And once the front elevation was sorted, the sides were made using four by two tantalised timbers. Once that was done, building the opposite side uh, was a relatively, relatively easy, as each timber was then clamped to the first frame for measurement and assembly purposes, leaving, leaving a perfect mirror image. On the occasions we had through the month of May, when the weather was uh, particularly poor, I used the time to shop for all the practical bits and pieces I needed for the bar, as well as all the decorative trinkets that uh, <coughs> ended up to be in the finished uh, article. I decided to fit the framework together and then clamp uh, the exterior with tantalised timber, and really just to keep the weight down. It was creating quite a heavy structure and it was just easier to do it that way in terms of handling and the build process. Uh, the roof structure is all built uh, from either 5x2 uh, timbers, or that was used for the ridge, main ridge uh, uh, panel, and 4x2 timbers for most of the other parts of the roof, and then clad with marine ply, and then clad on top of that with a waterproof membrane, and then felt shingles to the rear elevation, and thatch panels on the front. The thatch panels were fairly expensive, but nearly... £500 just for the one side, but I felt they added a key uh, and necessary feature to make it into a tiki bar, that is. So once the uh, structure was watertight, I had a quick cocktail to celebrate, and in terms of effort, I was probably about, in terms of time, about halfway through at this point. There were still facets to make uh, for the sides, uh, a ridge board uh, in cedar to, to follow, uh, had flooring to do, internal electrics to do, uh, lighting both inside and outside, a bar top to make, which I used larch and beech uh, to do. Uh, drink shells, again I used a, piece of, a couple of pieces of larch there. A door to make, and then various painting inside, outside, staining, uh, panels and varnishing. Uh, quite a lot of decorative features to fit. But once finished, we had some glorious weather to start enjoying it. And my son in particular, he started uh, enjoying it on most days when he was uh, working from home. And uh, took his lunch breaks there.
So I've opened up and we've got a sidebar here, main bar at the front and another sidebar on the side. So there's plenty of room for at least um, six or seven people on the outside to stand around and have a drink and room for three or four uh, on the inside here as well, so it's quite a sociable sort of space. I'll just uh, pan the camera around just to have a quick uh, look at all the things I've sort of added to it, all the little trinkets and bits of memorabilia. Uh, turn it uh, into a, to a bar. There's a rear shelf there with various spirits on. And you can see on the right hand side there, there's a little table I've made uh, from a mannequin bottom. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, uh, please like, subscribe, more videos will be coming along. The next step in this particular project will be more planting around, around the, the tiki by itself. Um, some further sort of changes to the garden and so on, just to complement the tiki bar. Uh, so, catch up with you on the next video. Bye for now.